I just wanted to come on here today and tell you guys a little bit about how I got into tattoos. So I'm doing this contest for Ink Magazine. It's the Ink Magazine Cover Girl Contest. And a lot of girls who are doing the contest are reaching out to their supporters and followers to try and get votes. But I wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about how I actually got into tattoos and why I decided to do the contest. So ever since I was a little girl, I was really artistic. I really liked using the temporary, you know, stick on tattoos and drawing and painting. I always had a fascination with tattoos, but my parents were really against them. Um, I had some books on tattooing that I got when I was in high school and my mom threw them all out. She said, if you ever get a tattoo, I'm going to kick you out of the house. But I knew that tattoos were a way that I could express my creative side. Um, I was always drawn to them and it felt like something I was just so fascinated by, right? So once I turned 18, I went out and got my first tattoos, a little small, about this big uh, tribal hummingbird on my lower back. And I hid it from my parents. They eventually found out and, but I was away at college. So I wasn't living at home at the time. So I was kind of able to sneak out and, you know, get some tattoos. I started getting larger pieces as I got older. And it wasn't until I actually went to cosmetology school and started starting to become a hairdresser. And I realized that tattoos are more accepted in that field, right? So I got some larger pieces on my arms that were more visible, right? And, you know, I still did face some discrimination though, because I feel like, you know, there's a lot of women out there who have maybe some daintier tattoos, but not a lot of women who have large pieces, right? Um, so at the time, this is mm, eight years ago or so, I just started getting larger tattoos, um, especially on my arms, stuff that was visible all the time. Um, I got a lot of kind of backlash, you know, people would say, oh, you ruined your looks. Um, how are you going to have a job? You know, what is your mother thing? But I always felt like having tattoos was me being true to myself, right? Um, this is how I want to look. It, I feel like with tattoos, it's the best representation of who I am inside with how I look. So I just kept getting them. I actually got a good relationship with my tattoo artist, Jasmine Fay. so shout out to her. She became a good friend of mine. I kind of bounced around from different artists to artists until I found her. And I ended up leaving the cosmetology field and certifying as a personal trainer. So obviously in the fitness industry, tattoos are accepted. There are a few fields where, you know, you can have a lot of tattoos like this and, you know, still be employable, but the reason I wanted to enter the Ink Magazine cover oil contest and is I really want more women with large tattoos to be represented in media, shown as women who are role models with good jobs, education, you know, so to not really, to go against that stereotype that girls with tattoos are, you know, kind of bad news or trashy, like now there's doctors, nurses, you know, firefighters, all types of people, professors um, who have tattoos. So um, as a personal trainer, I see myself as someone who has dedicated my life to helping others improve their lives through fitness. And I feel like I would be a good representation of a role model, um, but not just a role model, but for Ink Magazine, the cover girl contest, uh, a role model is a female with a lot of tattoos, um, just so it's seen as more normal and socially acceptable. Um, and I really hope that, you know, younger girls out there, if they're thinking about getting tattooed and they have interest in it, but, you know, maybe their parents or family doesn't approve or their job to go with what feels the truest to yourself. Um, you know, and especially if you find a good connection with your artist, it can be a really great way to express yourself. Um, so you can click the link in the comment section below this video. If you would like to submit a vote for me for the Ink Magazine Cover Girl Contest, you're allowed one vote per day for free. Any additional votes that you purchase, the proceeds will be donated to the Music Cares Charity, which helps struggling musicians in time of need. I think it's a really great contest because it's not only, you know, helping raise awareness and kind of make 
tattooed woman seen as more the norm, but it's also, you know, raising money for this charity. So that's my little story there. I hope you guys will, you know, support me and I appreciate any votes that I can get for this contest. So much love.